In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize your iPhone using personal automations in Siri shortcuts so that your phone can speak to you like this. It's September 23rd, 2020 at 4 p.m. Your battery level is 30% and it's 22 degrees Celsius and partly cloudy. If you clicked on this video, you're probably curious about automation. The first thing you need to do is make sure the Siri Shortcuts app is installed. Open the Shortcuts app and you'll see all my existing shortcuts. To set up an automation, I'm going to tap the Automations tab at the bottom of the screen and I'm going to tap on Create New Personal Automation. For this first automation, I'm going to automatically turn on low power mode when the battery level reaches 50%. So I'll swipe down and tap on battery level. And I'm going to tap on equals 50% and then I'll tap on next and tap on add action because when the battery level gets to 50% I want my phone to do something. I'll tap in the search field and start typing set low power mode and then select it off the list. The default option is on and this is fine since I want to turn it on. I'll tap on next. To make it so the automation runs automatically, you have to turn off ask before running so you don't have to give permission each time. To turn it off, just flip the switch. Then tap on don't ask. Now each time the battery level reaches 50%, low power mode will automatically turn on. Tap the automations tab once more and tap create new personal automation. This time I'm going to create an automation that will turn low power mode off once the battery level rises above 50%. So again, I'll select battery level and then choose rises above 50% and then tap on next. I'll type set low power mode once more and select it off the list. And this time I want to turn it off. And then I'll tap next. Low power mode will automatically turn off once the battery level rises above 50%. Don't forget to turn off ask before running and then tap on don't ask to run the automation automatically. Did you know you can get Siri to speak to you and give you information like the time of day, current weather, and power level on your phone each time you connect it to your charger? Create another personal animation, swipe down, and tap on charger. Here you have two options, is connected or is disconnected. Both of these can be selected at the same time. If they are, your automations will not work properly. Make sure only one is selected. I'm going to start with is connected. This automation will run when my phone is connected to a charger. Tap on add action. And the first thing I'm going to do is get the current battery level. So I'll type battery level into the search field and then select it from the list. Then I'll tap on the plus sign once more to add another action, in this case the date, which will return the current date. This action returns the date and time of the day that you're on. I'll select date from the list. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Then I'll tap the plus sign one more time to get my last action for this automation. This action is called speak text. Start typing speak text into the search field. This action uses Siri to speak whatever text and information you feed into it. Select it from the list. Tap the icon in the upper left hand corner to bring up the keyboard. The first thing I'm going to type is its. And then I'll add the date variable. The date function contains both the date and time. Siri will simply read the words its, the date and time,
Then I'll type your battery level is. The battery level function returns a number. This is the current battery level of your phone. However, it returns it as just a number. So it will say your battery level is 54, for example. You need to make sure that you add the word percent since battery level is measured in percent. And the speak to text action will speak exactly what you type. Now I'll add the battery level variable by selecting it, and then I'll add the per word percent. If you make a mistake, just hit the backspace key and continue typing. Next, I'll type charge me now as a reminder to plug my phone in to be charged. This is going to be the last action I'm going to have in this automation. And usually shortcuts or automations will exit properly once they're done. However, it's a good idea to add one more action. This is an exit shortcut action, which will ensure that the shortcut exits properly when it's done and does not freeze up your phone. I'll tap the plus sign and type exit shortcut into the search field. And then select it from the list. To test your automation, tap the play icon in the lower right hand corner. It's September 23rd. 2020 at 3 13 p.m. your battery level is 43 percent charge me now that works perfectly and of course tap done and then switch off ask before running so your automation runs automatically every time you connect your phone to your charger tap don't ask when i unplug my phone i'd like siri to tell me the time of day and weather conditions outside in addition to the power level. So I'll swipe down and select charger and this time I'll tap on is disconnected. That means this action will run when my phone is unplugged from the charger. The first thing I'm going to do is get the battery level from the phone. So I'll type get battery level into the search field. Next, I'll tap on the plus sign to create a variable to hold the battery level information. Since I'm going to be adding more information to this automation than I did before, I'll create a variable called BL for battery level, and then choose the battery level variable by default. Next, I'll tap on the plus sign and get the current weather conditions for today. I'll type current weather conditions into the search field and select the variable that I want off the list. That's a bit of a longer variable name, so I'll set another variable to create a shorter variable name which holds the current weather conditions. I'll type CW as the variable name. And of course, this variable is going to hold the weather conditions. The reason I'm setting new variables is because the speak text action will be located at the very bottom of the shortcut. And I want to make sure that it works properly. So I'm shortening the variable names for each piece of information that I want. Then I'll tap on the plus sign once more, and this time we're going to get the date. This action will return the date and time. You can use date or current date. Next I'll add speak text, the speak text action.
and configure it to give me the output. I'll tap into the box and bring up the keyboard. And I'll start typing it. Then I'll add the current date variable. Make sure that your variable names appear blue. If they don't, Siri will just speak whatever you type. Next, I'll add the battery level is, or in this case, your battery level is, and then include the battery level variable. But instead of typing or selecting battery level, I'm going to type capital B, capital L. This should turn blue and will contain the current battery level of my iPhone. And of course, I'll have to type the word percent. Now, I can add the current weather conditions by typing and its. Then I'll type CW, which is my variable that contains the current weather conditions on today. And of course, I'll type have an awesome day just for fun. It's September 23rd. 2020 at 3.54 p.m. Your battery level is 29% and it's 22 degrees Celsius and partly cloudy outside. Have an awesome day. This automation works perfectly. Don't forget to tap the play icon to test the automation before you finish it. I have to add the exit shortcut action to make sure that the shortcut exits properly after it's finished. Then I'll tap on next and tap on done. Don't forget to turn off Ask Before Running so that the automation runs automatically. Just tap on Don't Ask. Then tap on Done. Now that I've completed my automations, I'm going to test them. You can make adjustments to your automations at any time. If the automations sound a bit different during the test, it's because I updated them. The charger is connected. It's October 2nd. 2020 at 9.47 p.m. Your battery level is 25%. Charge me now. And here the charger is disconnected or unplugged. I have to thank Brandon Butch for bringing this capability to my attention. It's October 2nd. 2020 at 9.47 p.m. Your battery level is 25% and it's 12 degrees Celsius and clear. Have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing your automations. Leave a link in the comments section and I'll see you in the next video.